donations. So we were at Whole Foods and Fresh Market um, picking up and um, heading out to Leicester right now. So yeah, it's um, it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day, um, and I think um, a lot of us are feeling uh, kind of like a, a weight has been slightly lifted. Um, Yeah, there's still um, a lot of work to do, um, a lot to, a lot to, uh, a lot to work on. Um, yeah, we was not able to watch the inauguration. Yeah. Probably later we're gonna go we're gonna have to watch and it see highlights or whatever. Only, yeah, we hear them was very nice the inauguration. And Everybody said, "I'm not crying, you're crying." <laughs> so, I am. Um, I have twin girls and I'm really um, really excited that they were able to watch that this morning and to to witness that uh, part of history um, and so you know I don't think that uh, any of what's happened has been anybody's first choice um, uh, and I'm not talking about the people who were uh, sworn in today I'm just talking about in general um, I think there's a lot um, that people are still unhappy about and um, it's very understandable and like I said there's a lot of work to be done uh, and so we know that with um, the community leaders that we have um, we've got some amazing folks who are on the ground every day doing the work with us and uh, so so none of the work that you see um, on these live streams or in our posts on Be Loved or Asheville in Espanol or Asheville in Black and even happen without the people uh, in the community who are standing right with us and um, have have the passion and the, the dedication and um, all of that. So I um, just want to say a huge thank you to everybody uh, who is a part of what you see on Facebook and Instagram. And, um, we get honked at a lot. <laughs> And uh, sometimes when we pull over to go to the grocery store, we, we get people pulling up beside us, like waving and, hey, I, I just want to say thank you. And um, so, I, and I always say like, we can't, we can't do any of this without the support, without those waves, without the love. Um, and so if you are one of those people who have honked at us and <laughs> pulled up beside us, thank you for, for that. It makes our day. Um, so we are pulling into one of our neighborhood community distribution locations right now uh, with Monica and Alejandra and their kids who are always um, always out helping. Uh, and so we're super excited to have a lot of young leaders with us. to distribute um, a lot of resources in addition to food. And so we know that there's a lot of need. Uh, right now in particular, there's a lot of people that are still out of work um, because of the, the health crisis that we've gone through for this last year. Um, it's been a really long, hard, um, crappy year. Uh, but like I always say, we've been able to connect with some amazing people through these hard times and so we're <laughs> riding her scooter so we're um, <laughs> pulling in right now uh, to the community <laughs> and uh, getting ready to get things set up to deliver so I'm gonna pop out and get masked up real quick
So, hola Marta. Thank you all for the, the hearts and the love. Um, we are getting ready to to unload. Um, I wanted to um, remind everyone that tomorrow we will have from 11 to 1, um, probably a little bit later actually, uh, from 11 until, um, we will be at the Bila Village. Uh, there's a lot of material that has been donated um, and it happens to be in the spot that the that house number two is going to be built. So what we're going to be doing is um, relocating some of that material to uh, another temporary um, donation uh, warehouse location that we have. Um, so we've got a place that um, is going to let us temporarily hold some village material there. Uh, so we're going to need some extra hands to fill this truck. Um, we've got quite a bit of uh, materials to move um, so that we can make space for the for the second house um, and you can also see the the first house the model house super excited that it's um, completed and that we are moving forward with the with the village uh, so yeah Amy's helping me out putting the information in here 11 a.m. tomorrow, 15 Overbrook Place. It's the site of the, the Bila Village, so come check it out. Um, it's some beautiful land, um, very peaceful place, and uh, we're, we're very excited to uh, continue the work of this project. And uh, definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, cannot do any of this um, without the hands of the community. So, um, all hands on deck, no pun intended. So anyway. We want to talk a little bit about how we became possible the hot food. Oh, the whole food. Sure. So, these red totes here are filled with some goodies. And um, there's, I'll show more of what's in there. Um, yeah, I know, I'm getting there. Don't be so pushy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pancho wants me to tell the story so I'm going to tell the story so anywho uh, the red totes here as you can see are from Whole Foods um, and so that came to be um, uh, probably six years ago about um, when I I'm getting there I'm getting there <laughs> I, I used to work at Whole Foods and I would see a lot of waste happening um, and so I I had, I had at that point started to uh, volunteer with Be Loved a little and um, I had worked around um, issues you know around housing insecurity and um, seeing a lot of folks who lived outside and who didn't have regular access to good healthy food and so when I was tasked with trashing good food um, it broke my heart and so what I did was connected um, Whole Foods with Be Loved and we were able to then start to pick up um, oh we have some <laughs> the carts fell but um, I, we began to pick up uh, the, the donated food that otherwise would have been thrown in the trash. Um, so, uh, as you can see, if you hang on with us for a little while, you'll be able to see um, how much food 
and and what kind of food so this is the stuff that's coming out right now is from fresh market which speaking of fresh market um it's like my my first Asheville family uh so that was my very first Asheville job in 2009 and um the people there were super welcoming I've I still am friends with some of the folks who still work there um and I'm I'm very grateful to have the connection um, with the Fresh Market on Merriman Avenue in particular. Um, they were there for me in a lot of ways. I was new to the area. I didn't know anybody. Um, I made some some quick friends that turned into quick family. And um, as you can see, they're still very supportive of me and the work that I do. And um, they have helped to support a lot of uh, things with Be Loved. Punch of this. Yeah. Um, so they've been uh, sponsors for some of our pupusa events. Um, they provided some produce. They've provi provided um, lunch trays for activities that we've done. Um, some advocacy work that we've done on the street. They they provided food for that. Um, and every week uh, we're able to go pick up some um some goodies from from these folks who have been a part of my life uh for a long time so just want to say thank you to everybody there um for the continued support and uh also for helping to make some of our amazing pupusa and tamale events happen um we've had some some amazing donations from Whole Foods and Fresh Market to make those events possible and, and a huge success. So. so here, as you can see, um, got some of our young leaders out here helping make this happen. So they're unloading perfectly good food that would otherwise this food would be Sometimes we had to borrow shopping carts <laughs> to make it easier. So this, um, you can see, this is a, a huge help on this truck here. We have the the electric lift gate, which is super helpful in times like these when we have. And, and when we go to the grocery store, we go with a style. Oh yeah. Punter rides it up and down. <laughs> so anyway, I want to say a huge okay. thank you to all of our supporters, all of our community leaders, young leaders. Hola Clarita. Y Marta. Y Amy. <laughs> Address. Forty five Bonita Circle. 
and Forty-five Bonita Circle in Leicester. They will be here until everyone gets the resources that they need. We've even got some charcoal here. The other thing that's happening right now is uh, some of our medics are out um, delivering supplies to folks who are in need. So sometimes we'll get um, a call and uh, our medics are, luckily some of those uh, folks have vehicles so they can um, meet folks where they are uh, if it's not the time that the whole medic group is out. Um, we do have medics that are um, able to distribute items as needed. So uh, James is out um, currently making sure that somebody who lost all of their gear um, and has nowhere to stay uh, we have we have gear um, and James is able to deliver that to them. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, chipotle salsa, some peppers. ¿Qué clase de comida? Ah, mexicana. ¿Cómo ella ve? ¿Y aquí lo hace aquí? Sí. Sí, pues si le sobra algo ahí, para a alguien a que la levante y que la reparte también. So, as you can see, Esperanza is out making it happen again on a Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Um, a Wednesday that's definitely going down in the books. Um, some history was made today and I am super grateful that um, my kids and um, folks that I love are able to see that, um, to see this day and hopefully uh, have a little bit of hope. Um, so hope comes in all varieties and that's why we had the, the truck named Esperanza is because people in the community saw that um, when this truck rolled in, it was hope coming in the boxes. Um, and so just feeling really hopeful today and uh, really blessed to have all of these community leaders in our lives and um, to see the young leaders making sure that their, their friends and families and neighbors and community um, have the resources that they need. So uh, if you're a monthly sustainer, we're super grateful for you. Any, anybody that has shared, made a comment, um, liked our posts, any of that is super helpful. Um, and that is also another way to donate. And so it's always very helpful to share, very helpful to comment. Um, very helpful to send us a like or a heart because um, that, that gains traction on these videos and so we're able to gain more resources that way and then deliver those resources to the community. So uh, monthly sustainers, one-time donors, um, people who are able to donate camping gear or um, any kind of resource uh, want to say thank you to all of you. Um, and let's, uh, this kind of feels like more of a new year, um, than it did 20 days ago on January 1st. So I'm going to send another happy new year because I, I feel like 
now is the new year. Um, we're, we're starting today uh, with, with some, a lot more hope than we had 20 days ago. So um, much love to you all. Uh, if you want to become a monthly sustainer, just head over to belovedashville.com. Um, click the blue donate button, monthly option. Any amount is very helpful. One-time donations are very helpful, um, helping to make this all possible. And it, none of this is possible without any of you. So, again, much love. We, we are grateful for you, and we will see you all soon.